we're here today, we're just going to talk about one of the great players from Workington, Ian Wright. And he's going to be inducted into the Workington in Towns Hall of Fame. Um, Ian played for Workington Town from 1966 to 1979. And he played 302 games. He scored 168 tries and won goal for 503 points. I've got Paul Charlton with me here today. We're just going to have a chat about Ian's playing career. Um, Paul, Ian was a top try scorer for 18 to 13 <laughs> seasons that he played. Uh, so it, it would have been great having a, a player who could score tries and a great finisher in the team. Oh, it was a great finisher in the team. Um, Ian, Ian was a guy that was on the, on the end of the finishing. Um, and and uh, as you can see, he scored 168 or 170 tries um, in his career, which proves that he, he was good at it as well. Um, a, a guy that you give him the ball, and once he got in the, in the clear, that, that was it, mate. He, he just nobody's going to get to him. He's just so fast, so quick, so skillful, um, and it, it just proves uh, how good he was with the amount of tries he scored. There, there was only one player that actually scored more tries, and that was the great Ike Southwoods. Now, okay. <laughs> Did you see, is there any similarity between them? Well, yes. First of all, Ian was, he, he played centre and uh, Ike, Ike actually played on the wing. Um, Ike was also another finisher. But um, in, in characters, uh, I thought uh, Ian was a, a, a bit more, uh, if you want to put it straight laced, he was a bit more serious. Where Ike was a, the, the larrikin sort of a guy. He made light art, he did everything he did in, in life and he, he was a... Um, a guy that, that you just uh, you just loved, you know, you just uh, to have in your side. And that also goes for Ian as well. He was the sort of guy you could count on um, to, uh, well, to score tries for you. And he, and, he, and he did that, as you can see. Paul, it, you came back to the club in 1977 and you took over as player coach. Yep. Now, that was the start of a, of a good reign for you. So, But just tell us about that team of 1977 when, when you first came there. Well, I, I must give um, credit to uh, Ag Southwood, who was there before me, because he was a coach before I arrived back at the club in 1970. It wasn't 1977, Gary, it was 1975. And um, I, um, I, I, I actually took over from Mike that particular year um, as player coach. And, um, but I had done all the spade work and I just took over from him. And um, these guys, um, with me coming back to the club, something just clicked. Uh, they, they'd uh, been uh, groomed and uh, got a lot of experience uh, with playing for the last three or four years together. And I, I think I got the, uh, the spoils on that one. So just talking about experienced players, Ian was there. He would have been an, quite an experienced player. Oh, when of course. You came back. Of course, Gary. Um, he, um, he, he was going well. In, I think he was on the verge of playing international football as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, to, to be fair, he, he, he was as good as anybody running around. He just maybe because we were stuck there up on the limb up in Cumbria that he, he didn't get his opportunity earlier. Uh, I think he should have had, and, and he should have um, played for Great Britain um, quite a few times, which unfortunately didn't happen. In 1977, you, you won the, the Lancashire yep. Cup after being being in it or beaten the, the year before. But just tell us about that season of 1977 when you did win the Lancashire Cup and held, and held the cup high. Oh, that was... It had never been done. Um, working had never uh, won a cup for, I think it was... Uh, I think it was 19, in the 1950s or 19, early 60s that they won in the, uh, the Challenge Cup. So it was a long spell between, uh, between the, two, uh, the two areas. And, uh, to, to pick it up in 1977, the Langish Cup final, and to beat Wigan in the final was, was a great honour. Uh, not only for me, for, for, for all the, uh, the players that were involved, and there were was, was some good players in the side, and also the spectators and the directors as well, uh, you know, the supporters. Um, and and they, 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 they really enjoyed it. You know, we, we went, um, I do believe we went, we went to the town hall on the Monday evening after uh, that particular uh, final. And the thousands of people that are outside the town hall it was unbelievable, you know. And to the boys, giving them the credit, they, you know, they, they were playing against a good side. They were playing against Wigan, and um, I think he, he scored the first try, was it? Well, I, think, I think he. Uh, tell us about that try. I think I don't know who made the break. I don't know who made. The, we could have made maybe Les Gawley or Peter Gawley. I'm not quite sure. 
uh, maybe Eddie Bowman. I, I just haven't seen the, the recording of the uh, the uh, final for a while, so I just can't remember that. But I remember Ian got on the outside of it, and that was it. You know, there was nobody going to catch him. He was so so quick, and um, he, he gave us the lead that we needed. And uh, I, I don't think we'd relinquish that lead. There's been a lot of great players that have come through uh, Workington Town, but just talking about centres, let's just uh, would it be would it be right to say that Ian Wright and Epi Gibson were, were, were the best two centres to ever play for Workington Town? <laughs> I would say that um, I wouldn't like to point fingers. Um, there was a lot of good players. It was Epi Gibson, um, Ian Ian Wright as well, um, John O'Neill, uh, Tony Paskins. You know, we're looking at some great players there, and I would think they're all up on, on par with each other. All great players that uh, credited, and they, they were a credit to the club, and they all performed at, 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 on the top circle. Um, and guys that could um, that could win games for you, which has been proven out of sight, you know. Because uh, that's where all the strike force is out wide, uh, you know, at that particular area of uh, the game of rugby league. I mean, at the early the early stages, it's it's gone on a bit now. Um, it's more structured now. But be, be, in that particular time, it was more, how, how can I put it, um, more off the cuff sort of stuff. And uh, these, these players that I've just mentioned, um, they were on par with each other. So I, I couldn't really pick, I couldn't really pick anybody. Maybe some of the, the supporters will disagree with me, but I just couldn't pick any um, particular player out. But they were all on par. Well, Paul, here we are on the other side of the world, a long way away from working yeah. to this, this marvellous event that's going to be taking place yeah. soon. So. Uh, what would you like to finish off with? You're saying a few words to, to Ian. Um, Ian, um, just 12 months ago, I um, I was inducted into uh, the Work in Town Hall of Fame, and you know what what a great evening we had. You know there was um, Mike Stevenson came up, Chris Hesketh, the Boxer Walker, Spangy McFarlane, Billy Patterson, Harry Archer, John O'Neill. You know all the quite a lot of the ex players were there, and it was a great night had by all and. And I'm sure everybody that's there tonight uh, at that particular uh, at your particular function, um, they'll they'll have the same sort of night um, that I had. You know, um, the chairman cracking jokes, uh, which he, he took quite a few out at, at the players on that particular night. But um, Dave, don't do it to Ian, mate. So uh, Ian, best of luck, mate. Um, I'm ten thousand miles away, but um, you have a great night. Thanks a lot, buddy. Bye.